Hi guys, it's Paige, and today I have my favorite makeup products of March. And I know that it's a little bit early, but right now it is March 26th. Um, it is midnight, because, you know, Paige likes to stay up and watch Frozen until midnight. So, yeah. So let's just get on into the video. And so this is, um, I'm going to have makeup and, like, face products. So let's get on into that. So my favorite um, concealer right now is actually the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. I'm in the shade 10 or light, the same thing. It says both. And I just got this at Target. I've been really liking this. I've only had this for about a week and I've used it so much. So yeah. Okay, so the next product is going to be, it's just, this is just a mini one, but I really like this. And I, I'm not going to purchase it, sadly, because I just... I don't really think I need this, but it's the Sephora Cream CC Cream. It's Skin Perfect CC Cream, and this is just the mini version. I got this for 100 points, and in this there is 0.17 ounces, so just about one fifth of an ounce, and I really like that. So yeah, the next face product or the next makeup product that I really like for your face is actually the Maybelline Dream Matte Blush, and I've had this for a really long time, actually, but I'm starting to like it again. I know a lot of people hate this, because, like, how it is. It's, like, weird how it's, like, bushy, but all I do is I just kind of do like that, and I kind of spill it around my cheek, and I'm not the right way to put it on, but it works. So, yeah. So now, for eyebrows and eyes, you know, just the eye area, I'm going to start out with my Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And I really like this for some reason. Like, I cannot stop. I have mini size and the big size because I lost this one, so I got this one, and then I found this one. So, yeah, I just love it. <laughs> the next products that I have are eyeshadows. And the first one is this MAC one. This is a single eyeshadow, and this is in Kaloof. And it's just a really pretty color. Let me just watch this for you it's just like a shiny it's it's kind of like a purple color you can barely see it but that's just because my camera is the best because the lens cracked so we had to get a new one my next eyeshadow is actually in the naked basics palette and it's the first two it's foxy or it's the first three it's the venus Foxy and W O S, but it's actually Walk of Shame. And I really like these. This kind of reminds me of the Paloof. This one I like to put on my brow bone. Oh, and this one. Oh, and I also put it in my inner corner. And then this one I put under my eyes to uh, like kind of cover up the fallout. So I've been. Everybody kind of raves about this on YouTube, and I finally got it on Christmas. But I haven't been using it, and I just took using it, and I really like it. It's the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal in Barely Branded. And I just use this under my mask or under my, um, one of those colors, and it really works. While we're talking about things under your eyeshadows, I want to talk about this e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. And this is just, you just put this over your eyes, you rub it in, and you put on your eyeshadow. It's so easy, and it keeps your eyeshadow on for a long time. The next thing is my Lash Flash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. I cannot resist singing to this. Like, okay, Paige, let's calm down. Fangirling. Okay, so, just the last one, Blast Volume by CoverGirl. It's just a really good thing. Sorry. I should, I should chew this off, but I can't resist. It's like the, this is probably like the 15th time I've seen this movie. So yeah. For an eyeliner, I really liked um, the Photo Gravure, Gravure, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's P-H-O-T-O-G-R-A-V-U-R-E by MAC. It's just a pencil eyeliner. It's a dark brown, and I put this on my waterline and just a really skinny line on the top. I don't wing it out. It looks really good. So next, I have th I have three brushes that I want to recognize, and those are um the first one is actually a stippling brush. I got this at Target like three or four days ago, and it's 
it's kind of small, but it's it's really good. Like seriously, it works so good. Like just try it. And it's only like five dollars. Just try it. I'm sure you'll like it. The next brush I want to talk about is this Eco Tools. This is the flat shader brush. I just apply all my eyeshadow with this on, other than my bases. So I really like this. Um, I don't use this for crease because I usually don't do a crease color or an outer V color, but I'm sure you could. Like, it's a big enough brush for that. So, yeah. For a powder brush, you really have to be specific. So, I like to use a Sephora brush that came in this. Well, this came in this. I bought this actually at the Sephora at Disneyland. Because I was there and I had a Sparkit part, so I was like, you know what? Who cares? So, I've got this. And it's really good. It just gives you the perfect amount because my skin being oily, but it has acne, so it's very acne prone. This doesn't put on too much. And since I like skin peeling for my acne, for my acne, you, this just gives the right amount so you can't see it that much. So as we get into skin care, the first thing I want to talk about is the Smith's Rosebud Solve, and I got this yesterday. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Seriously. Okay, well, you know, I bet you guys care about this. It isn't really good, and oh my god, it smells wonderful. It doesn't really have a taste, but oh, it's really moisturizing. Like, I have it on right now. Smell. I can't smell it anymore. But, yeah. So, the next skincare item I want to talk about is this Clearasil Ultra Rapid Action Pad. And these you just put on wherever your skin is acne prone. It dries it out slightly, so, like, but when your skin gets oily, it just goes to normal and then oily. Because, okay, so usually my skin, it's normal. And it goes during the day, like, from first to second period, it's, like, kind of, it's kind of oily. And then from third to fourth period, it's, like, oily, like, normal oily. And for the rest of the day, it's, like, really oily. No way. So, but with these, when I, um, so they dry out my skin, like, just a little bit. I still put a lotion on top of it. And so when I get to school, it's just normal skin. Third to fourth period, it's slightly oily, barely. And then for the rest of the day, it's just it's just oily. But then by the time my mom picks me up, it's really oily. And when I get home, I just wash it, and then it's fine again. So these are a must. The next item is an overnight mask, but I use it as a lotion. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. And I really like this. So this is a must have too. The next thing is um, this Victoria's Secret Beat Dreams Juniper Berry and Watery Freesia. Freesia. This is a brilliant sheen sheer lotion. So it's very sheer, it's, but it has sparkles and it smells so good. It smells like fruit, like fruity, but it has like a little bit of a musk to it. I have no idea how to explain it. And by the way, about that um, Victoria's Secret thing, it doesn't leave an oily residue on your skin, so it kind of just like sucks into your skin, same with this, and this is why I use it. It just goes straight into your skin and nothing, like it doesn't leave any residue. But the last thing that I'm going to be talking about today is my Clean and Clear Morning Roast Fruit Infusions Purifying Cleanser. It's oil free and it has mandarin orange and it cleanses to purify pure pores. That's a mouthful, but this smell, it smells really good. It smells kind of like an orange. It smells, it smells citrusy, but um, it has like little tiny things that like exfoliate your skin, and I didn't know what they were. And so I checked the back, and it, it's strawberry seeds. That's so cool. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, comment down below if you guys have any ideas or if you guys want me to post a fashion favorites music favorites like all that type of stuff just non-beauty favorites so bye guys thanks for watching and i'll have some information in the down box